baby's asleep, so we're gonna be really quiet. long time now see so it has been hard for me to film any kind of cleaning videos because it's tough to film a cleaning video for it to be enjoyable to watch if that makes sense so I decided to just film a morning and how it goes so morning as a mom with four kids trying to clean the house my husband already went to work so this is Alex baby Alexander the other baby as you might know I have twins uh, the other baby is asleep upstairs at the moment, so he'll wake up whenever, but yeah. We're doing it again, Mickey Mouse! Baby is crying because he's hungry. I'm gonna have to really fast make some breakfast for myself and my two kids and go breastfeed the baby. It's getting a little bit chaotic and that's just with one baby awake. The other one is not even awake yet. Be honest i don't really believe in multitasking but at the moment sometimes i guess you have to at the moment i'm eating breakfast i'm a breastfeeding baby and i'm pumping on the other side yeah so the kids have eaten their breakfast they want a little bit more so i'm gonna have to finish this and cook some more but i have been lucky with the other baby he just decides to sleep for two days straight today is the second day where he decides to just sleep in the morning giving me some free time our babies both are awake that's mommy's bag so right now guys I'm just pumping as they are laying down I fed one twin the other one doesn't latch so I have to pump for him and this is what I'm doing right now this is how the days go I I pump a lot and I feed them a lot because they eat a lot it's a lot sometimes I have to substitute with formula but for the most part pumping takes most of my day Mama. Alex! You 
get the idea. The kitchen is a mess. Could be better. So, but I need to cook a little bit more oatmeal. You're itchy? Okay, we're gonna get you a new shirt. I'm gonna be cleaning and cooking at the same time. I'm probably spending a long time in the kitchen while looking after the babies. So I'm gonna put you um, to watch. Hey guys, so I thought I would pop in and let you know that there's going to be a little bit more cleaning towards the middle and the end of this video where I will catch up with you a little bit more through the voiceover. And right now as I'm trying to just start to really clean the kitchen, there's a bit more of the vlogging interruptions. But like I said, it's a very freestyle video today. So as we get into the cleaning, I'll talk to you a little bit more. Thank you. Good job. Can you get the brush out from the, under the table? not it's for mommy you want to try wear this a helmet yeah okay you can if you want to be silly for a little Here's your star. Maxie, how many stars do you have? He already has three. You have so many stars. Do you want something special? Mm, yes. What would you like? Uh, chocolate. All right, go give me three stars for three dinosaurs. I'm eating second breakfast. I eat a lot now that I'm um, breastfeeding. I eat a lot. We're all having second breakfast. It is 12 o'clock. One baby is asleep. I just put Nicholas to sleep. The other baby away, uh, is awake. They don't have the same schedule. I actually get things done when one of them is awake and the other one is asleep because I don't know why, but that's the way it works for me.
tired. So this video was taken about a month ago or something and it took me quite a while to edit it. I'm glad I did because I really wanted to catch up with you to be honest. And I have been just fine, just taking care of my twins and of course the other toddlers that I have. I am a mom of four now. It was a little bit challenging at the beginning, more than I expected it to be. Primarily not because I could not take care of my twin boys, but because one of them had breastfeeding issues and to me I found it a little bit harder to focus on making cleaning content. It's not that I wasn't cleaning the house, it's the way I cleaned the house kind of changed. It was a little bit harder for me to put it into a video format. I found that I would never really clean an area from start to finish all at once. I would rather start cleaning something, come back to it later when I have a second while cleaning other five spots in the house all at the same time because I always needed to have the twins by my side. Basically, if you're a mom, you might understand how it can get. But like I said, with me, it was more of, of the breastfeeding issues that I was having with one of my twins especially. And all of my focus went into that area. I would be pumping all day long and it just left me with no time really. As you can see, even right now, I was not expecting to clean the whole kitchen in this video, but it happened and I am glad to present it to you in a vlogging kind of format. So basically I just went fully into mom mode, having to take lots of time off from making cleaning content because all of a sudden it just was not my life anymore and I'm trying to figure out if it still is. There is much more to do. The baby is crying and he needs to um, eat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of dishwashing soap into the sink so that it uh, it doesn't dry out with all this oat on it, you know? I want it to soak like that. I'm going to feed the baby and I'm gonna come back and clean the sink and continue with cleaning the kitchen. We're about you know, more than halfway through, I am surprised at my productivity today. This is good. I'm gonna go feed the baby now and we'll come back to the kitchen a little bit later. I'm gonna pump, feed the baby, that's a long process. So right now it's what, 12.43? Yeah, I'm coming to get you. Feeling good and look 
looking cuter. I'm so beautiful. So, this mister is gonna clean the sink with me together. So this is baby Nick that's trying to clean the sink with me here and that's the same baby I had all of the breastfeeding issues with. In a nutshell he had a latching problem and so I decided to just start pumping breast milk for him while breastfeeding the other baby physically. As you can imagine that was taking quite a bit of my time and on top of that the same baby also had really bad reflux. I've had experience with reflux but this time I feel like it was so much worse that I've never seen before. But it seems like we're figuring out and are overcoming a lot of issues that we've been having for months and I feel like I'm so glad to be where I am now and just look back on things and realize that yes they do get better whereas at that time while you're in the middle of all of that it seems like oh my gosh there is just no end to this I know I'm supposed to be enjoying it but you know what it's hard I had issues with my breast milk supply I had to substitute with formula a lot of times which was not my favorite thing my baby with reflux especially could not digest formula and even though my other two kids toddler they were both formula fed for the most part of course there is nothing wrong with them and they're doing just fine but still there is nothing better for your baby than your breast milk I just feel really strongly about that and this time it was really important to me so I was working on my breast milk supply as much as I could eventually I figured out what my issues were and now I have zero problems with my milk supply I'm so proud also looking back about a month ago my baby with reflux was still having problems with his reflux and now he's getting better and better every day then there was this sleep training that we're still going through kind of but I'm already seeing the results and only now it seems like we can now breathe again. Maybe it's just until the next challenge arrives but I haven't had this feeling of just having a few minutes to myself in months and I know there was a lot of baby talk but that is just where I've been and what I've been doing. If you happen to be a mom, especially at the very first six months of having your baby, if you have other kids to care for, it may seem so challenging. But coming from a twin mom, I gotta share that it can get so hard, but it also gets easier. It is such a cliche to say, but motherhood is the hardest job I've ever had to do. I also feel like those moms with little babies are always told, hey, enjoy it right now. You have no idea how fast the time flies. You'll wake up one day when they're all grown up and you'll wish you had this time back again. And while I 100% agree with all of that, and I remember feeling like the time was just slipping through my hands, especially at the very, very beginning, I need to say that at the same time, it can get so tough sometimes that it can be really hard to enjoy those moments. You might be in a situation where you already have some kids to take care of off when you come home with a newborn baby or you might be a woman with no extra help or you might even go through a postpartum depression I don't even know what that's like and at those moments it might be really hard to enjoy life even with a newborn baby and I feel like women need to know that that's normal too it is okay to go crazy, feel frustrated, sad, angry and helpless and it is totally okay to not be able to enjoy every single second of your life you still love your baby more than anything and it's gonna be okay something happened and Maybe I'll cut the scene out, this one right now. Maybe I won't, I don't know. I just don't really want any judgment as to what my kids do. And you know, kids do stupid things. And um, they did something stupid. <laughs> this is why I interrupted cleaning the kitchen. It is now almost three o'clock. My husband's on the way home after I send him a text of what they did upstairs. So I was wrong. That that uh, that was nothing. Here. In case you're wondering what that is, do you see those two black bean bags? So one of them broke and all those balls from one of the bags are all over the house. All right. So let's clean up the kitchen, yeah? So yeah, going back to the little balls all over upstairs, kids do funny things, kids do not so funny things as well. As we had discovered much later, actually what happened was that one of the bags broke as they were maybe sitting on it or maybe jumping on it. And I would imagine as soon as it broke, all the balls would fall out on the floor and that happened in the playroom. 
And after that, the kids decided to make it snow. That's when all the fun began and they just started running around. All I heard was a lot of running around upstairs, which is what they do anyways. You and I were cleaning downstairs in the kitchen and I was just really happy about the fact that I was left to myself to clean the kitchen without any interruptions. You know, just the babies. But I do know that if the kids are quiet, there is nothing good. You gotta go and check on them. And now I learned that even if the kids are not quiet, they're, if they're not bothering you, you still probably gotta go and check on them because they're probably just very occupied destroying something. But anyways, as soon as I sent my husband a text showing what they did, he decided to just come home and help me clean up because he knows now that we multiplied the number of our kids by two, now it is no joke when an accident happens and all my time goes to cleaning up something or just, you know, to an emergency, I don't have any extra hands to help everybody else. Before, when I had two kids, it was not so much of a problem if something happened, I could deal with it. But now, if I have two little babies on my hands, I cannot deal with any extra stuff that is going to take me half the day to clean up. So I'm glad to have my husband there all the time with me whenever he can be there for me. So we had agreed that I would just continue doing whatever I was doing and just look after the babies and he would head on home earlier than expected and handle the toddlers and the messes upstairs and and decide on the consequences that the kids would have to deal with. I just had to make sure that the kids don't run up and down stairs carrying all those balls downstairs as well. But other than that, it only took us a couple of days to clean it all up. We had to use some big uh, vacuum. I think he uses it for leaves outside because if you would pick up those balls with a regular vacuum, it would fill up every single, like, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. So we happen to have that, I think it's a leaf blower, something that he uses outside and he has like a big tank where all the trash would go. And that's the vacuum we used to clean up the bedroom and upstairs. So it took us a couple of days provided that we also have other things to do around the house. But yeah, if that was a regular cleaning video, I guess I would cut that scene out because there's no need to show that to anybody unless I was cleaning that mess in that video but because it's a vlogging style video today let's just leave it in and although I absolutely love making cleaning content for this YouTube channel lately it just has not been my life like I explained to you earlier and there's always things that come up in your life that you enjoy more or less you try out new things you get excited I have been trying to change my content a little bit for YouTube I also have been trying to focus a lot on gardening and a few months ago I had no idea that I would be doing all of these new things to me so you never know how your life will turn around really. You never really truly know the things that you're going to be interested in next year or even a few months from now, maybe even tomorrow. You never know what is awaiting for you right around the corner and I think that is so beautiful. I love life for that. It's full of surprises, good and bad unfortunately, but without having any bad in our lives, how would we even know to appreciate the good stuff, you know? Anyway, the way I'm thinking now about life has changed for me just a couple of weeks ago ever since I I read this life-changing book and I'm telling you my mindset is completely different and I will talk to you about this in just a couple of minutes. And as you can see, we're almost done with the kitchen and taking care of the floors at the moment. I didn't expect to have so much done on that day, but I was really glad to be able to provide some cleaning motivation for you in this video along with some vlogging bits. I just wanted to show you a little bit of reality behind the scenes because I truly do not know how long it's going to take me to make another video. But anyways, I'll talk to you in a couple of minutes.
To wipe my appliances down in a second I will be using Method Stainless Steel Polish and Stain Remover. I love this thing, I love that it's chemical free and a few months ago I also mentioned it in my videos that I wanted to try out a little bit of more of a chemical free lifestyle when it comes to my cleaning. I started being interested more in organic produce when it comes to eating and that took me to start taking gardening a little bit more seriously. Just kind of like a chain reaction towards a more healthy lifestyle overall just to find out a few months later that i would start thinking a little bit differently and would want to loosen up a little bit with all of those rules and stop taking life so seriously and start enjoying it a little bit more and what led to that change is this book i believe it's pretty popular right now it's called the evidence of afterlife the book is about people having near-death experiences, that is when you have been into an accident or for whatever reason you are basically pronounced dead, but then for whatever reason the doctors actually managed to bring you back to life and the few minutes that happened between those moments when the person was technically dead with their heart not beating, with their brain not responding, what happened to a lot of those people is called a near-death experience and a lot of those people recognize pretty much the same patterns that happened to them like the tunnel with the light that we all heard of the really warm unexplainable feeling of just peace and unconditional love just an unimaginably good experience happening basically because their soul or their consciousness got out of their body and if you don't believe in god or life after death you probably think i'm being funny right now but those things are actually in that book are scientifically proven and explained not so much explained but proven with statistics and percentages and every <laughs> all the numbers that you want to know so in case you're that person that is looking for proof that god exists or life after death in this case actually exists I would suggest you really listen or read that book. It is eye-opening, life-changing, and just overall really positive information. After reading that book, my life turned nearly upside down because before I did not believe in life after death. And after reading that book, I started watching all of those YouTube videos where people happen to have their near-death experiences and they talk about them. And this is a really deep topic, but this kind of changed the way I view life. Why take it so seriously? We only have a limited amount of time here and whether or not you happen to know what the purpose of your life is on this planet it still doesn't hurt to enjoy it a little bit more just a few weeks ago i used to be so much stricter with my rules about life as well as for my kids like very limited amounts of sugar being very picky about what we eat what we do just to find out that i need to relax a little bit so we have this incredible machine our body that carries us through this limited amount of time on this earth and once the time is up, our consciousness, our soul, our mind, whatever you want to call it, it goes to the next adventure, what I believe to be an eternal life. I highly suggest to check out that book, especially if you do not believe in life after death or you want to hear some numbers and proof. And if not the book, then there is a podcast with the author of the book on YouTube, which I will leave the link under this video for. That's completely unrelated to this video, but I think everybody should know about this. And this. I'm gonna try and feed the kids dinner. We're pretty much done with the kitchen. I mean, there are always things to do, always more things to do, but we did so much of deep cleaning today. <laughs> Anya is asleep right now, so we're, I think I'm gonna feed them dinner around five, but other than that, I'm just gonna change this baby. <laughs> Let's go change it because you stink. Okay, so I'm picking up some pizza and some tromboli and then I'm gonna stop at Kroger and grab some chocolates for me because I'm addicted right now. And then I'm gonna go right back home and uh, start my evening routine, well, have dinner and start my evening routine. But the kids should be in bed by the time I'm back.
is very cold. All right, uh, let's go home. I got everything. I just wanted to say that thank you for staying with me today and this is evening time this is 8 30 8 30 oh my god I bought that chocolate cake and I ate two slices and I feel really bad because that is too much for me I feel like I'm gonna throw up like it's just ugh. thank you for staying with me today I hope you enjoyed today's video <sighs> I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.